Hello, everybody, and welcome to our monthly iconographers meeting. This time, we discuss the possibilities for time management. So how iconographers can work in a busy life of today. How can we find little pieces of time to dedicate to iconography? And whether it's good or not to do that, maybe it's better to delay everything for better times. Well. Let's begin. And I will begin with ancient classics, which sound like Ars Longa Vida Brevis, which would be translated as life to what is art. And it's a problem, but it's also an advantage at the same time. I think we can compare it with time when you read a good book. We leave our time, we enter some other type of time. We leave our life outside of our normal life. So a real work of art is an insight, a discovery and touch of genuinity. And that is why we could use it as a tool to testify Christianity. Miracle of art works as miracle of faith. Helps to show the miracle of faith since it's also a miracle. Yet we remember that in our days, a art is a highly underestimated labor. Only a few artists can support themselves with their art. Most can't. Most artists can only dream of doing art full time. Most are like you and me, struggle to find time for art in some busy life. Besides, there are so many other ways to spend time. We can have our daily work done. We can enjoy time with our dear people. We can be recovering after something, including a hard daily work, or just having a nap. Looks like it's a true challenge to find time for art. Unless you're rich, but then you have other time management problems. Well, back to the question. When should we work on our art if we have no time for it? I will share the answer I heard from different artists, including my dad, but first I want to share my own experience. Let's begin with the strategy which seems to be most logical. What can I do if I only can afford having 15 minutes for iconography? Maybe I should split my complex work into little pieces, making one detail at a time. It sounds doable, but this road leads us into a wrong direction. It's because for any serious project, we must have a long work periods to have it done well. In 15 or even 20 minutes, you can't accomplish any complex tasks. You can't paint a large icon face in 15 minutes, leaving the garment for the next time, next day. You can't mix colors today and apply them tomorrow. And after tomorrow and after tomorrow, because when you come back tomorrow to your easel, it's a different you with different decisions about the same paint and how you should proceed and so forth. And I mentioned 15 minutes per day, but it can be per week. What I mean is, okay, I'm totally busy and the longest time I can sacrifice for iconography is 15 minutes today. Can this work? Depends on how you accept it. Because if you have an icon, let's say, half a figure, 30 centimeters or 12 inches tall, and you plan to paint a little part every day, you start from an angle and you move forward, but you will definitely screw it up. Because art is not an embroidery where you can start from an angle and embroider stitch after the stitch according to plan. You can try, but soon you will discover that's exactly the difference between the art and craft. I'm sure you know this difference. According to definition, craftsman is a professional who knows what the final result should look like, and the artist is the one who does not know, but who is searching for the result in the process. And if you are in the process of creating a thing which never existed before, you need to take into consideration lots and lots and lots of factors. In 15 minutes, you barely have time enough to just remember what you did yesterday 
what colors you used and what did you want to do next? The minute after you figure this out, your time is over. So is this impossible that? Should we do something when we have 15 minutes for iconography? Or should we rather dream about having a full day at the end of the month? It depends on what we want. If you want to copy the drawing and just enjoy painting over this copy once a month, that's okay. It will be full enjoyable time. But if we want to grow professionally, we can use and even treasure every 15 minutes. Because the answer may sound crazy. Here it is. Instead of trying to work more economically, doing things in a more focused state of mind, instead of shooting only the right bullets into right targets, I suggest you simply work more. Well, that's exactly what I suggest. If your time is very limited, you need to expand your work, broaden it. When I mean this, instead of drawing one hand just on your particular icon, draw several hands in about the same position. So in these short periods, when you can, you draw hands to get ready for your final hand on your right. You only need one color combination, let's say for a garment. Take several combinations. Make different options and play with them during these 15 minutes. So you will become an expert, not only to know how to manage time, but also how to work professionally. And the options you choose for your final image will also not be the only one, but will be selected among lots and lots of options you tried in free times and decided they don't worth using. Well, it's not going to be easy, but just explaining to yourself that professional work consists of number of disciplines and ability to play with each of them separately, to play with each of them, enjoying each of them. Not as like rushing, okay, I want to get quickly to the part of the painting, so I rush through the drawing part. That may work once and twice, but if the beholder will see that you were enjoying every minute, every second, and you professionally have selected what has to be in your image, what has not to be in your image, will be a completely different result. So that's it. It's a possibility to grow. It's ability to choose between different options you have researched from in your free time. And now I'd like to share some images because there is no lecture without images, but they're not, uh, how to say, they're not so much demonstrating how to make sketches or how to change. I simply wanted to say that not every image has to be a complex one. Let me just try to hide the control. And here it is. So I saw this icon in Georgia here, and I actually love seeing it as a simple and yet very expressive one. I think St. Mary of Egypt is not very complex, but a very strong image and quite simple one. So I guess this person could have done it in one or two sessions, and yet it works well. Or at the end, not every artwork has to be complex. Not every artwork needs lots and lots of layers, and they can be very simple. In searching for images for this lecture, I found some French gentleman. I, I think I'll post his name under the video. I simply forgot totally his name. But how expressive are each of the brush strokes? They not icons, but they're extremely strong as impressions which they produce, even though they're very, very simple. Well, this is one of my things, and I'll show you a couple of experiments and resources I had, thinking like, okay, now I'll have like one hour. What can I do in one hour? The model was one of Georgian or Swaniti icons of Christ, where he has a huge head and a little body, and the other one where I try to make sketches for some uh, military people. So I was thinking what kind of purple would be better, the reddish one, the grayish or 
a little bluish. And these, I try to think of an icon where Christ would be holding his blessing hand, and only that. So his head, his shoulders, and the blessing hand. And I tried, I don't know, I think I was torturing this board for several weeks, but at the end I decided I don't make it. And yet it was a great experience for me to understand like what works and what doesn't, because some aspects are good, but several are not. And it's another option, we learn a humility when we are not feeling great executing whatever we want, but we can only say a short phrase at a time. And things like that, they train our hand, they allow us to remember certain details and allow us to start building things, not as repeating the patterns, but making our own ones. And at the end, I'm showing you some tiles, which we recently saw with Olga at an exhibition here in Georgia. The name of the lady is Tutu Kiladze. She is a local woman artist, but she has exhibitions in many places. And they are actually very small. So it's like two, three inches, so seven centimeters, not much, they're really little. And yet how expressive can these faces be? So you don't really need much to have an image which works, which functions, which produces a great feeling of inspiration, even this one. So I guess when you only see eyes, but when the eyes are so strong, that works really well. Okay, so thank you for watching that. Oh, wow. I'm making it different and i think this can be it time management in short periods can work well if we not rush through these periods but we consider them as little steps for our professionalism and they may even work better if we expand our experience and our knowledge thank you thank you